What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Two Minute Tuesday. In this video, I'll be talking about the ideal water temperature for performance on the field. So probably like a bunch of you guys, I've been told a lot of conflicting things about the best temperature for water for performance on the field, whether that's cold, ice cold water, cool water, room temperature water, or even warm water. And so whenever I get conflicting advice, instead of just listening blindly to either side, I like to go online and do my research to figure out what's gonna be best for my body, my game, and ultimately my career. So without further ado, let's put the time on the screen and let's get started. The first thing that I found when I was doing this research is that drinking cold water actually does burn more calories. It's kind of confusing because what most people think of a calorie in terms of food or burning calories is actually really a kilocalorie, but by definition, it takes one calorie to raise the temperature of a kilogram of water one degree Celsius. So just technically speaking, when you're consuming cold water, your body has to burn calories in order to bring it up to your core body temperature. The colder the water, the more your body has to actually work. Now that calorie loss can kind of be seen as good or bad depending on what you're looking for. If you're just looking to lose weight, then yeah, maybe those few extra calories that you're gonna burn by warming up that water is gonna be beneficial to you. But if you're a soccer player or a different endurance athlete that needs to try to retain as many calories and energy as possible, when you're on the field, maybe burning extra calories isn't the best thing for you in a competition. However, when you really get down to the science and you look at the numbers, the number of calories burned for either side is almost negligible. The amount of calories that you'd burn to warm up a water bottle of 16 fluid ounces is about 17.5 calories. 17.5 calories is practically nothing compared to 2,500 calorie diet, and it's nothing compared to the 1,500 calories that most soccer players burn in 90 minutes. And yes, of course, every little bit counts, but as we'll see later on in the video, the benefits of drinking cold water might outweigh the calories that you'll burn. Number two, the exact temperature for maximum absorption rate remains somewhat in doubt. And as I dug and dug and dug trying to find scientific evidence or some studies to determine what was the better absorption rate for cold or room temperature water, I just kept on finding claims. I found claims that room temperature water was better because it didn't have to be warmed up by your body. And I found claims that no colder water was better because it could pass through your stomach and end up into your smaller intestines faster. But I couldn't find a single scientific study or even any scientific data that supported either side. It was just a whole bunch of claims. And that's probably because accurately measuring water absorption rate into the body is, is pretty hard. But in terms of absorbing the water into your system, you can't really take a side yet. Number three, water temperature changes core body temperature. The biggest effect that I found by changing water temperature that we drink is its effect on core body temperature. It kind of seems obvious, but when you drink colder water, you're lowering your core body temperature. When you're drinking room temperature water, you're just kind of remaining the same. And if you're drinking warmer water, you're raising your core body temperature. During endurance activities like soccer, where core body temperature is raised, especially during hot and humid environments, it is far better to consume colder water to lower a core body temperature to a more optimal level. And it was found that water temperature around 16 degrees Celsius or right around that cool tap water level is optimal for athletes trying to rehydrate in sports or performance. And I kept on digging and I kept on researching and I found this systematic review that kind of looked over seven different studies looking at water temperature and performance on the field. And they pretty much said the same exact thing as the last study, that they found a benefit of cold water consumption in hotter, more humid environments uh, above 28 degrees Celsius and around 30% humidity with cold water beverages around five degrees Celsius, which is actually even colder than recommended in the last study. They also found a weighted mean average of 10% improvement in performance performance when colder water beverages were used. And interestingly enough, in four studies where they looked at consuming cold water beverages in more of a moderate climate and it wasn't as hot or humid, they didn't find a significant benefit to consuming the colder beverage. And lastly, in this study where they looked at non-endurance type activities like bench press, squat, and broad jump, they found that colder water actually had a decrease in performance in comparison to room temperature water for these athletes. And that last one makes sense. You're in just a normal gym, you're just doing bench press, squats, broad jumps, and you're not doing endurance type activities where your core body body temperature is really being raised that high. So cold water isn't gonna benefit you by bringing down that core body temperature. The cold water is gonna bring it down to a lower than optimal level. So that's why their performance is probably decreasing. So to sum up all those studies, your ideal water temperature is really based upon your sport and your environment. Number four, on average, people prefer colder water. A cooler beverage is generally more preferred and more consumed
consumed by the average population. A review of the literature actually found a 50% increase in consumption when colder beverages were used during exercise and resulted in a smaller change in body mass than warmer fluids. So athletes are more likely to consume more water and become less dehydrated when that water is actually colder. Their evidence indicates that ingestion of fluids between 10 to 21 degrees Celsius or 50 to 69 degrees Fahrenheit is optimal for palatability and fluid ingestion. And here's another study showing the exact same thing, that cool beverage temperatures less than 22 degrees Celsius significantly increase fluid palatability, fluid consumption, and hydration during exercises versus the control temperature. So again, what does this all mean? Well, for starters, there's no overwhelming evidence to show that cold water or warm water or room temperature water is better all of the time for every single circumstance. There could be many times and places where cold water is much better for you, and there could be times and places where warmer or even room temperature water is better for you. As a general rule of thumb though, uh, endurance type athletes, especially footballers, would probably benefit most from consuming colder water temperatures around 10 to 21 degrees Celsius or 50 to 69 degrees Fahrenheit before and during competition, especially when it's hot and humid outside. But as always, evaluate your situation, your activity, and your preference, and adjust the water temperature accordingly. But that's it for the video, guys. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video. How'd I do on time? Oh,